Hi, I am Masar Hussain and I am presenting you a VHDL demo which is based on an FPGA device. In this tutorial, we are going to use Xilinx ISC Design Suite which is the synthesis, placement and simulation tool to simulate a VHDL design of a counter. iSIM Simulator is also provided as part of the package. iSIM will be used to visualize the simulation. To work on your own computers, a limited version of Xilinx ISC Webpack can be downloaded for free from the Xilinx website. FPGA design process involves the same sequence of actions for every FPGA design software suit. That is, first to create a project, choose a name of your project, an FPGA device, in this case an access to board, a default language which is VHDL, and then add a file to project, both HDL description of the target device and test benches of behavioral simulation. Uh, do this behavioral simulation to see if your logic is working. Then you have to run synthesis. Uh, finally, implementation and visiting generation is the follow up step. Now we can start from the first step by creating a project. Launch IEC Project Navigator. A screen like that will be displayed. Start a new project. In this dialog box, first choose the location of the project. We will name it to counter 4-bit because we are going to simulate the behavior of a 4-bit counter. Leave top level source type as HDL. A counter is a sequential circuit whose output progresses in a predictable repeating pattern. It counts up by one for each clock pulse. It has a number of binary outputs whose state changes in a fixed sequence. This count sequence can be ascending, descending, or non-linear. After clicking next, select the target device, choose the family, for example, Spartan 3, the package, access T as synthesis tool, iSIM as simulator, and VHDL as preferred language. Click next and finish. Now you can see source pane with project hierarchy and navigation window along with the editing area. Second step will be to define a VHDL module of a counter. We can take an example of a 4-bit counter. Right click near project hierarchy and select new source. Type the name of the entity of the VHDL code. After choosing the name, click next and specify the input output pins of the circuit. The mode of the signal can be in, out, in out, or buffer. In and out are truly unidirectional pins, while in out is bidirectional. The 4 bit counter needs to have a reset and a clock as input and counter value as output. Select the checkbox for bus to get 4-bit output signal. Specify the most and the least significant bits. Click next and now you can see the complete port definition. Now click finish. In editor pane, you will be able to see the basic VGL packages at line 20 from the IEEE library that defines the keywords and operators for the language. Next is the entity containing the signals for 4-bit counter starting from line 32 and ends at line 36. Under the architecture, we need to declare an internal 4-bit signal that could increment with each clock cycle and later give the final counts to counter output. After line 41, the process with sensitivity list is initiated. The sensitivity list contains both reset and clock input. An if statement is declared, which depends on input reset. If reset equal to 1, then the internal 4-bit signal count should be reset to 0. Else, if there is a clock event, 
and the clock is equal to 1 then increment the internal 4 bit signal count by 1. After the end of the process the value of this internal 4 bit signal count should be passed to counter output. The signal assignment is visible in line 52. After saving the project now it's time to verify the functionality of this counter using behavioral simulation. Select the simulation view and then the model you want to simulate. In the process pane, right click on simulate behavioral model and select run. Notice an error in the transcript pane which says line 48 found zero definition of operator plus cannot determine exact overloaded matching definition for operator plus. The other error is the follow up of the first one. So we just concentrate on fixing the first error. We now know that the error is because of the operator plus in line 48. To fix this error, we need to include the library package IEEE standard logic unsigned, which is the basic VHDL package from the IEEE library that defines the keywords and operators for the VHDL language. After saving the project, we can come back to the process pane and double click on simulate behavioral model to again run the simulation. Now we can see the ISM window with counter input and output waveforms. The waveforms will show the default U signal which stands for undefined because we haven't gave any value to input signals yet. Now if we force the reset signal to 1 and clock to 0. By running the simulation for a specified time, we would get the counter output as 000. This is correct according to our code, which says if reset is equal to 1, counter output should be 0000. To verify if the counter is actually counting, we can give the value 0 to reset signal and clock signal to 1. By running the simulation, we could see that the counter output is 0001 because the code we wrote says that if the clock goes from 0 to 1, the counter output should get an increment of 1. Similarly, every time when we force clock input to 1, the counter output gets an increment, which is the true behavior of counter, because the counter counts. A more efficient way to simulate the modules is to use a VHDL test bench file. One can automate the verification of large and more complicated module with many possible input cases through the use of a VHDL test bench. In the project navigator, right click under the source pane and select new source. From the list of options given, select VHDL test bench. Name the new module, for example, test bench for counter and select next. Associate the module for test bench from the list selected. In this case, the name of the counter module is counter 4 bit and next click finish. Now the template for test bench appear in both source pen and editor pen. A test bench in VHDL consists of same two main parts of a normal VHDL design, an entity and architecture. The entity is left blank because we are simply supplying inputs and observing the outputs to the design in test. The architecture of the test bench will consist of the design we are testing as component. Line 52, 53 and 56 are the internal signals that will later associate to counter input and output signals in a port map. A process to run the clock and finally a stimulus process which will be responsible for running the tests we write to verify the design.
Now that we have gone over what the different portions of the generated VHDL test bench file do, let's add in some stimulus code to see how it all works together. But first we need to modify the clock that Zilinx has generated for us to work well with the counter design. I already added the constant for the clock period definition in line 59. For example, to run the counter with a speed of 2.5 MHz, we can set the clock period to 100 nanoseconds. Because in the clock process, the period is divided by 2. See line 74 and 76. Remove the unwanted code segments from the stimulus process. As we can see that wait for 100 nanosecond command is already there, so no need of another wait command. In the stimulus process, first assign the reset signal to 1, then after the wait for 100 nanosecond command, force the value of reset value back to 0. Much like regular VHDL modules, you also have the ability to check the scientists of a VHDL test bench. With your test bench module highlighted, select the behavioral check scientists under the process pan or select simulate behavioral model and run when everything is ok. The iSIM simulator program will be open with the simulation of a counter module. To get a better view of the simulation, navigate over to view, zoom and then full view. This will allow you to get a better view of what your simulation is doing and you may also zoom in and out to get to finer levels of observation. Notice that after the reset goes to zero, the counter start counting with each rising edge of the clock. To be able to see the complete counting, we need to run it for a specified time because by default the simulator run it for one microsecond. After running the simulation for 4 microseconds, now you can see the counter's final value, which is 1111. Hope you understand how to create and simulate a VHDL module of a counter in Zilinx IC Design Suite.